So today's lesson, real quick, I'm just going to go through all these topics of um, the historical background in To Kill a Mockingbird. So we are about to start this journey of a web quest, and you guys are literally going to do tons of research and tons of, um, I guess, finding on your own about these topics and about this historical background and like why To Kill a Mockingbird was written, what the times were like um, while it was being written, what this author lived through. Um, and so to give you more of an idea of the topics that you're going to to research and the topics you're going to dig a little deeper on, um, I'm just going to give you guys this brief overview of the historical background. So the author of the novel that we're reading is Harper Lee. Obviously, she's the author of To Kill a Mockingbird. And in this novel, one of the main characters' names is Scout. And you'll find that there are a lot of similarities between her and Scout. Um, they're both tomboys. I believe both their dads were lawyers, and you'll read more about that. But um, this novel is written from the perspective of Scout, which means, if we're thinking about it, I think the author put herself in in, the, in those shoes. So almost when we're reading this, um, we can think about it as like Harper Lee being Scout, and maybe that'll give us a little more of an insight of um, why this book was written and what she was thinking and I mean, I guess her journey of growing up, because this book really is about um, this girl named Scout grows up um, through this novel, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more. But So Harper Lee is the author. <clears throat> the Scottsboro Boys. So this was a trial that happened in 1931. Um, this group of boys were on a train, and they were accused of something that they did not do. Now, they're African-American boys, um, this trial has to do with justice and racism and right to a fair trial and the fact that uh, these group of boys were just on a train and they were accused of something that um, <clears throat> that ultimately they didn't do, but they were being, I guess, um, looked at differently because of their skin color. So that is an important trial that we're going to be digging a little deeper in as well on the web quest. And then you'll be looking at the 1930s in the South and the Great Depression. Um, and just a little disclaimer here, English and history are a lot connected because there wouldn't be literature without history. So the fact that we're looking at this stuff is because, um, it matters as far as understanding the text. So, um, basically the Great Depression started from a stock market crash in 1929, um, and it kind of exposed the poverty of the South to, um, the world. And so... Then this is what started the Great Migration, where um, those Southern, like the slaves and the African Americans, tried to move north to find jobs. Um, and I'm sure you've learned about that in your history class, but we're, we're going to dig that a little deeper as well. And then we got the Jim Crow laws. And this is something, we'll watch a video about this next week, but um, Jim Crow is not a person. Uh, it's actually... It's a, like a theater character, a persona, and it's actually to make fun of African-American um, people. And so we'll watch videos about it. <clears throat> but this was a popular thing during this time period. Um, and then these laws that were created after the Great Depression and after all this happened had to do with the racial segregation in the southern United States. So um, the, the whole term was separate but equal. And this is what caused, like, um, it says blacks to drink at different drinking fountains and to go to different classrooms and to not be um in the same area as uh white people at all so um, the jim crow laws are something um that we're gonna look a little deeper into and then lastly for the topics of this web quest, we got civil rights movement in Alabama in 1963. This is where Martin Luther King Jr. comes in to try to change the, that segregation laws to um, lead civil rights marches through the streets of Alabama and to make things better and to give, uh, I guess, more freedom to those African Americans. So, um, so basically, that is the gist of the topic. Um, that you guys are going to be covering in this web quest. We got tons of tons of questions for you to answer, tons, tons of links for you guys to go through, um, and it's going to be all about, obviously, in the end, um, setting us up to read To Kill a Mockingbird.